two questions. It will help me. It will definitely help all of you out there. So let's get right into boots on the ground. Lots to cover today. Uh, a power plant in the south. Uh, a generator they had that produces 400 megawatts. Uh, there's a bushing that has gone bad in this generator, uh, so they can't use it. So the unit uh, has been down since March. Um, they're hoping they get it back up at the end of August. Also, they're running out of oil filters for very large fans at this power plant too, um, to the point where they're taking the filters off and actually cleaning them as best they can and putting them back on. They usually keep about 20 of these filters in stock, but they're out. Uh, his words, supply chain is falling apart. This person lives in Kansas. Our local Dollar General, it's the only store in that area, uh, running low on lots of things, just lots of things. Uh, totally out of condiments and dairy often. They also said their medicine aisle is about 50% stocked. This is a local grocery store in Salem, Utah. They actually sent me a picture of it. It was a frozen turkey. It was 16.75 pounds. It was at $4.49 a pound. That brought that turkey to $75.21. This is Cohen, West Virginia. These people bought two hamburgers, four milkshakes from a local small restaurant, trying to support them. The total was $43. They said, we love supporting small local businesses, but we just can't and slash won't at these prices, and I don't blame them. Uh, they also said their Dollar General um, has totally stocked full of sinus medicine of the Dollar General brand, but it has all expired last fall. So check your expiration dates. This is Northern Alabama, Huntsville. Um, I think I have more canned fruit than a Publix or a Walmart that's down there. Also, I've not been able to find canned ma mangoes for months now. The only fruit Walmart carries is maybe pineapple, oranges, and tropical fruit mix. Pears if you're lucky. That should be. If you need fruit, get it stocked up now. I had a conversation with someone at a hotel. An unsolicited conversation started. We talked about, uh, they brought it up, the shortages, inflation, and what do you think is going to happen? So even if people don't know what is happening, they know or sense something is happening and there's something wrong. So this is a time when they open up to you, share a little bit of the prepping message, tell them just to you know, buy a little extra, start stocking up. Des Moines, Iowa. I went to the Aldi's um, and I, we got our meat lover pizza. We, supposed to be $4.89. We went up to the register, it was $6.99. That is over $2 more. Um, they did get it for the cheaper price. I got an email from this company called Unison, and they were like, yo, check out check out this MIDI cord pack. I said, nah. Um, they also went to three different Dollar Trees in their area in the past two days, and they're wiped out of inventory, so low inventory. Um, they've been looking for air and extra dry deodorant and can't find it anywhere. They also replaced two windows in their house. They were 70 by 41 inches. Uh, Menard's... Uh, $700 each. Home Depot wanted $500 each in at least two months wait. Lowe's was totally overpriced. They didn't even bother with them uh, telling me a price. So they probably went with the Home Depot at $500. They just replaced two more right before the pandemic and they cost under $300 each. So you're going from under $300 to $500 and a two month wait. This is a grocery store in Northwest Montana. We're near the Canadian border. Uh, empty coolers. Um, there was just a few things in the coolers. They sent me a picture and also they had a sign said, we have no meat or cheese to make sandwiches. Sorry for any inconvenience. This looked like more like a deli area where they had some other things that were pre prepared in the deli. So if the deli has no meat or cheese, that's a serious problem. So I don't know if their uh, freezers and coolers all went down or if they're just low. Uh, this is a local car repair shop. This is a small guy. Um, he's going to shut down and only go from full-time employment at his car place to part-time because of the cost, the cost of uh, technical and analytical equipment that he needs to repair these newer vehicles that are chip heavy. Uh, he says the prices for these pieces of equipment are astronomical. Without them, you can't fix things. Um, he says these are beyond the means of small businesses. Another auto repair shop shut down about a year ago. He was in business for 30 years, and he closed for the same reason, getting this uh, 
expensive, sophisticated equipment to diagnose cars. Uh, both owners said car makers are trying to eliminate small repair shops and force all vehicle owners to have to go to the dealership for service. We are in a small western Wisconsin town. Shalom, shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son and name of the Holy Spirit. And quick, I always wanted to play that clip. Um, peace and salutations, hopefully, like scattered abroad. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great mercy and teachers as well. And um, in, this, in this video, you see it's called, um, it's from Southern Prepper One, Boots on the Ground, July 28th. Uh, we are in recession and it, we are we, we are in a recession and in this video with this guy you know and, and, ch and channels like him they pretty much go in and these you know the, 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 these Edomites you know or what appears to be Edomites they're they're you know they're 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 in a loop man you know they're um they're watching as we supposed to be watching you know and our people Jake you know think it's a game but the, 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 these Edomites man a hey, hey, they own or something man but what you just saw and this is why I'm I'm I'm, I'm previewing this guy's channel you know for you brothers out there you know um it's good to watch these videos scripture says watch as well as pray it's good to watch these videos because it shows you how this place is crumbling on you know a microscopic level before it ultimately reaches the you know astronomical levels man but america is crashing man and every day is more and more you know you're hearing these stories of people all over the world saying they're, they're seeing things change man and this is ultimately going to lead up into the great you know collapse and destruction of america which is prophesied in the bible in the holy bible okay um uh but that point where he was talking about the cars man how you know the car companies are trying to get rid of small businesses and that's what this government is doing all together they're trying to get rid of all the small businesses they're trying to make the the, the, the rich richer and the poor poor okay they're going there they, they want to get rid of the middle class okay and that's what they're doing that's why they're getting people you know people have lost their business. Imagine within the past two years or whatever, since this thing, you know, started with the C9, how many people have actually lost their businesses? Okay. So this is um Ecclesiastes five, verse seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So in thy security, when you think it's all safe. You're going to be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance if you don't seek the Lord, man. Lord of Scripture says, seek him while he may be found. And like I said, this is also um, a good reason to watch these videos so that you stay in the spirit, man. For you brothers, you know, that, that that's, you know, um, in, in the know. You can get topics from his lessons, you know, to, um, his topics. You can, uh, he, he, he's saying something, you can go into it and look it up and actually do a, do, do a video on it, you know. But also, this is supposed to keep, this is good to keep you in the spirit. This is good to keep you in the spirit of, um, of, uh, you know, hastening the coming of our Lord, man. Because, because if you ain't watching, then you're going to think that the Lord ain't, com ain't coming and you're going to end up, you know, uh, slacking off. Okay. This is on um, Matthew chapter 26, verse, um, 41. It says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And that's for all of us, man. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, our flesh wants to go off. Our flesh, you know, uh, uh, d d d desires the things of this world. But our spirit wants Yahweh Shai. Our spirit wants, um, you know, to ultimately be, you know, uh, changed, man, to make per to be made perfect. Okay, and this is why, as men of the Lord, we're supposed to be watching, man. Okay. It says in Colossians chapter 4 verse 2, continuing in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, man. So you're supposed to be praying and watching, okay? Praying to you, how about you, yourself for mercy, for faith, with another understanding, and watching for these prophecies, man, because they're definitely coming to pass, okay? It says, uh, 1 Peter chapter uh, 4 verse 7, but the end of all things is at hand, and therefore, but ye therefore, be therefore sober, and watch unto prayer you see the end of all things is at hand man everything as we know it is about to change drastically and come to an ultimate end okay it's about to come to an end all this shit all this shit is over it's over man and you got before you see these edomites you know in their little bunkers and you know stocking up their little food and shit that tells you it's over man you got you know two presidents one said make america um great again and the other said build back better 
So that, that that's a a, 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 a show or, or or for them had a Biden who said what change, okay? Because what his place is is not doing so good right now, man. Okay. It says um Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes chapter two verse three, go and you shall receive pray pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, man. So the kingdom is already prepared for us. We just got to watch, man. Okay, continue to to, 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 to to do the will. The Lord said, blessed be, be that servant when he come and find his, or blessed be that man or or, or uh, the man when, when his Lord cometh and find him so doing, man. Okay, working. Hey, we got work to do, man. Scripture says the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So like I, like I, I even told the brothers in my camp, man, you got these preppers that's, you know, they're diligent. They're on, you know, they're on fire. You know, they has, you know, dropping videos back to back to back every day. You know, they don't go a day without dropping videos, man. So, it's so, 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 so we shouldn't either. Okay. It says, um, this is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Okay, so that's man, that's what we want, man. For the Israelites, for we we are watching us being, you know, that watched on that watchtower, man. And you brothers, get on your watchtower, man. Get on your watchtower. This is um Luke chapter twenty one verse thirty six. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy. Let me go up. I mean, let's go to Luke chapter twenty one verse thirty verse thirty two. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall not shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So this heaven, this rulership, and this earth, this kingdom, is going to pass away. But the Lord's word is not going to pass away. Okay, these prophecies are going to be fulfilled. And take heed to to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts, minds, be overcharged with suffering, uh, partying, you know, and drunkenness, you know, getting fucked up, having a good time. That's Jake, man. That's Jake. You know, our people, they love to have a good time. It's all about party and bullshit. They always at the club. They always at that. What, what a party at? What a hoes at? You know? Instead of actually getting into the scriptures and seeking Yahweh Shai, they're doing they're, they're, they're partaking all types of folly and madness, which ultimately leads to death and destruction. It says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged. So take heed to yourself. Scripture says, examine yourselves, man. And drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unaware. So you don't want to get caught up where they gonna catch you unawares, man. Where when the Lord come, you know, and this is red letter. When the Lord comes, and your ass, you know, getting taken away because you, you know, was caught up in this world. It says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. It's gonna come like a like a snare. It's a trap, man. It's a trap. Okay, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So the Lord said, What? Watch ye therefore and pray always. You're supposed to be watching and always praying, praying all day, every day, constantly, constantly, constantly. The scripture says, Um, um, uh, let me see. I'm thinking about um let me see. Because you know hey, we, hey the times we coming in too many, we're gonna need the, the uh, Lord, man, to deliver us. And you got you that's why it's important to know his name. Okay, it's important to, to call upon his name in prayer and be watching, man, for 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 for, for these prophecies. Okay. It says, um, let me see, uh, I'll have to look for some particular, I think I might already grabbed it. Oh, 
Okay, so, um, I mean, that's pretty much the point. You know, I don't want to make this too long. Here we go, let's grab this. This is, um, Romans chapter 12, verse... Here we go. Let's go up a little bit. Romans chapter 12, verse. I'm just, I'm just gonna start at verse one. It says, "I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, which is your reasonable service. Us doing this work, us praying, us you know teaching. This is a reasonable service, man. Nobody should have to remind you to pray to, to and, and and to you know be be in the spirit, man. Nobody should have to remind you of these things. And be not conformed to this world." But be transformed by the renewing of your minds that ye may prove what is that I was like it, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which we're supposed to be even trying to prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of our Father, man. What are we here, here for? What are we here to do? Is it to, 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 to become Hebrew Israelite rappers? Is it to become... Uh, damn, you know, Hebrew is like movie stars. Like, I you see, they're gonna make movies and shit, man. Nah, it's to prophesy, man. You know, to prophesy so that the end may come. It says, um, for I say th through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, you know, according as much, suck as according as the most high. Have dealt to every man the measure of faith, for as we have many members in one body, all and all members have not the same office. So we, being many, are one body in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and every one members of uh, 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 one of another, having then gifts differing according to the gifts that is given unto us. Where the prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry. Let us wait on our ministering or he that teacheth on teaching or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with supplication. Okay. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good, be kindly affected, affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honoring, preferring one another. And this is why I'm doing this video ultimately preferring you, brothers. You know, hey, this is you know something to help you out, man. You know, to continue in the faith, all right. And I know because it's something that helps me, you know, me in particular. I watch you know videos like this guy, or maybe um, off grid desert farming or somebody, and they'll be telling you what's going on in the news. And it's, you know, to, to this world is bad news, but to us it's great news, man. It's great news. It means that our Lord is, is coming, the kingdom is being established, and this world, you know, this death planet is being destroyed, man. You know, it says, um, it says, and uh, honor preferring one another, not slothful in business, supposed to be on fire, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer instant in prayer man always in prayer distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality man and this is why i did this man i'm going to show some southern hospitality from southern prepper you know to to, 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 to you brothers in the faith man um you know and I, I pray this be you know helpful to you this channel in particular you know i pray it be helpful to you this man got a uh, look at it, a thousand point wow let me see He's been on, he joined in 2010, okay? He has a 54 million, over 54 million views. It ain't about views, but the fact that, you know, this man is diligent. He has over 1,000, 1, or 1.4K videos, man. Okay, now, now, now we know our videos are getting, our channel is getting taken down. But, hey, I heard something the other day about, you know, you know regarding to something about, it Apostle Hart said, if you you and GMS, you should have at least 1,000 videos. I'm not sure how true that is. That's something that that, that I heard one one you know, a, 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 one of the brothers say, or a brother say. I'm not sure, but um, and that's you know I thought about that. Like that's the spirit, man. You know you you know easily you can do 
a thousand videos. But if you really been on fire for your whole bunch of young shots, and if you been, if you new to this thing, then you should be trying to reach that mark. You know, that's a destination to get to. You know, before it was three videos a week. You know, now it's at least a video a day. And you know, the real goal should be try to do at least three videos a day, man. And you know, that, that, that's my goal. I try to knock out at least you know at least a video a day. You gotta do a video. That, that that's mandatory. But you know, two or three. You know, and, and that's a good day, man. You know, four or five, sometimes even six, man. You know, just get more in the spirit, you know, and be on fire because, hey, hey, right now, what, 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 the time to do this work? Let me grab that. Now is the time to do this work, man. It says, um, John chapter 9, verse 4 I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So, right now is the time to be doing this work, man. Okay, wow, wow, you still got your internet, while you still got, you know, a, a roof over your head, you know, all these things, man, now's the time to be serving your house by Shino Shai, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world, man, you know, and that's, that's our Lord, so the Lord had gave us this light, you know, and now we gotta, you know, a shine it unto, uh, 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 unto those who be, of, who be of the elect, man, you know, so with this, I pray was edifying, but, you know, just, you know, this is a tool, you know, use these Edomites as tools to edify, you know, and they want to talk about the things going on and all these and, 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 and they're crying and moping and groaning about their world crashing and collapsing. We're glorying in it, man. Whatever I've been saying, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Shalom, Abba, Abba, Shalom.